So I'm finally back home, I picked up the wheels. Um, I tried to get back here soon and I wanted to. Uh, not the wheels, picked up the tyres, sorry. Um, I wanted to get back here soon and I wanted to, to um, get the manifold fitted up, which I've not managed to do. I've just got these out. They'll do me for a while. Um, plenty of tread on them. 50 quid for the pair, can't argue with that. Now, time to get the uh, wheels on better refurbish into the boot. Um, because yeah, I need to take them to go get refurbished tomorrow, which uh, is going to be these ones. It's quite a mess. I picked them up off of a friend and they just needed a well, tiny bit of curb fixing out and just stripping. But as you can see, they are a lot wider than my OEM, well, my current ones, and deeper. So these are going to go on the rear 17 by 9.5. I tried to strip them myself, but there are so many layers of paint on them that I just, I just can't. So, yeah, I thought I'd bite the bullet, get these refurbished, stripped and whatever, get them fitted up, then I can sell that pet set, because it's a lovely set. That's what they were before, not a nice colour, no. And that one needs a tyre coming off, so I'll be doing that tomorrow at lunchtime. do like that for now. Awesome. And these can go into the garage for now. I'm running out of light. I always try and pack so much into one day. Oh well. So, it was a spare. 
med det for det her. I used a 43 mil hole saw in there. That's 44, 45 mil stainless steel. It's not the cleanest welds, it does the job. And yeah, it's just a generic external wastegate weld on the top, which will uh, do the job. So I can't really get this actually fitted up at some point soon. Good afternoon. Um, yes, another one. First thing first, yes, on that weld. Uh, that was done Saturday morning. Um, we'll be leaving off. We'll be carrying on from where we left off, which is Friday. We one picked up the tyres. Uh, picked up the tyres. Got the wheels in the back, and we went and dropped it down a powder, um, Hampshire powder coat in and wheel refurb. Now, ahead of a day, as you saw. Uh, today, I was going to be fitting up the turbo manifold with the external wastegate. Ow! There, shut. Um, turbo manifold with an external wastegate. Until I got a message from Joe, who works down at um, Hampshire powder coat in. That the wheels are done, so I was like, do you know what? Why not? I'll go collect them today, I can then start getting tyres fitted up on them and get them fitted. So yeah, a bit of a change of plans. So we're on the way down there now. I'm gonna have to say a massive thank you to Joe and Hampshire Powder Coating and Reaper. Definitely recommend them. If you're anywhere Hampshire based or Southampton or anything like that, they are down black. I've dipped in somewhere that way, I can't remember what it's called now. Can't fault them. Um, I said take as much time as long as you need. I'm in no rush. He messaged me at the weekend saying, yeah, I'm done by Tuesday, they're done today. Uh, absolutely smashed it. On the way down there now, I'll go pick them up. So I will catch you then. Fucking look at them. Absolutely fucking perfect. Slowly back home. I um, got home a little bit late, had dinner and whatnot. So let's just have a look at these wheels. I was originally gonna go white with flake, but I'm loving this. It's it's a weird silver metallic with flake. And they've done an amazing job refurbing these. These are the rears, so quite a bit more dished than what I've currently got. And then the two fronts are strapped in. So I'm going to get these out. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing with these two wheels is I'm going to be taking these to get the tyres fitted tomorrow and pick them up after work. I'll then fit these on the back and then the next day I will be getting those two fitted up with the tyres that come on the front because they are basically still kind of like new so these are we won't talk about them but yeah those tyres will be going on the fronts and then swapped over <sighs> so the wheels are all finally in the garage on a nice bit of cardboard Looking gorgeous. I honestly, I cannot. Um, I cannot. What's the word? Fault the work that um, Hampshire Reefer and Powder Coat have done. There's not. There's. You might be able to notice a bit of a difference between them. They are both 9J, 17s 9J. Uh, these are far deeper on the centre. Uh, they are ET12s, I believe these are ET30s or 32s or something. So yeah, they're going to be on the front, these are going to be on the rear. I've got these two sets of tyres, I don't know, just picked them up cheap because um, I am one for enjoying burnouts. 50 quid for the pair, couldn't argue with that. So they are both going on the rear set. And then these Uni Royals, which are still basically like new. Rain spot threes are going to go on the front set. So I'm going to slap those two with the tyres into the back of the car in a sec. They'll be ready for fitting up tomorrow. I've got some fresh set of lug nuts as well coming. I can get those set fitted up onto the back. The back ones then can go on the front, and then I can get that set of tyres swapped onto 
that set of rims. Oh, again, still more mess. I'm clearing all this out. These are Ulta BA tanks. They are aluminium cord carbon fibre thing. I'm going to be using these to actually do a bag setup on the crown, which will be a super, uh, future video. So, see, I'm going to lift it up with one hand. I used them as extra capacity for when spray painting. But I believe these are good for like 200 bar or something ridiculous. Um, whether or not I'm going to get them wrapped or try and take this label off, I, I don't know yet. Or paint them. Um, I might go for wrapping. But yeah, I'm going to make a holder for each of these. Get an air compressor tank. I'm, when I fit up these wheels, I will be checking the specs for the coilovers so I can get a set of bags for them. Um, it's not going to be an expensive bag setup, but it's going to be doing a bag setup with quality, but also on the not so expensive side, put it that way. I've got a few other little things to do. And on a, another note as well, the reason the external manifold, external wastegate manifold has been taking its time is one because it's always been a bit hot after driving but it's also because of this awkward little hose here now on the 100 it goes from this side down this side to there instead of while routing around because that's the position i want to be taking the external wastegate pipe today took them and got them tires fitted up on them so that's both the rears done uh, that needs to go back to the boot, but I'll do that later. So, what we're going to do, pull them out, we'll get them fitted up on the rear now, and then the rear wheels can then go on the front, so I can then get the rain spot freeze, take it off them, and fit it to those two. Also, what I'd ride is a lovely, fresh set of um, new lug nuts. Stainless steel ones, lovely aluminium anodized, um, almost like washer to stop that the taper grinding into the powder coat, as well as uh, little end lock thingies. So I'm not going to mark up the outside of them. We're trying to get a hex between the side lug nut and the um, alloy. They're going to look lovely. So I'm going to. Pull the jack now. Oh, I'll get the wheels out in a sec. I'll put you somewhere. Yeah, I'll put you somewhere. Pull out the jack. Get the fuck. You And only my rat guns are dead, so break the bar.
day off. Definitely. Definitely wasn't doing anything uh, illegal or dodgy. Probably not the uh, correct use of a hammer and screwdriver. But it does the job. Awesome. I also do have to apologise for the uh, neighbours back there, but we'll ignore that fact. Now, for the speed ring, I'm probably going to scotch that diameter up, or use some scotch bright to clean it, and then either put it on there, let itself, let it press itself on, or with a small bit of wood, lightly tap it in, but I think I might go for the uh, let it press itself in uh, method. Yeah, there you go, that's a bit nicer. Directional, are they directional? I don't know. Might be, might not be. This is the left side. making as little marks on the wheel or these loading up things as possible I might actually put it back into gear Oh, I don't want to do this. Shit.
I'm not sure if they're home actually. So what are we for the center cap? I'm going to get some nice Toyota center caps to go in there. Um, I know they're not works; they're rotors. So some of you may hate on that, but I love them. I absolutely love them. Time to get these little. Well, I won't put them in just yet. I'll do the other side, and then I'll lower it, tie them up, then I'll put these on. And oh my god! I'll be right. Get them fit onto the front. So I'm gonna probably skip a little bit here because it's gonna be quite boring. I'll get the other side done and then I'll show you with the fronts done. I'll get the wheels swapped over. Uh, finally back with you. Well, I love them. I absolutely love them. Finally fitted up and torqued up. Caps are in. And they are looking gorgeous. All I need now is a Toyota Centre badge to go in there. I may have to roll my arches eve slightly more on this lip, especially if I'm going to bag it because I'm going to have to get that to slide over. Um, yeah, pretty meaty. But they do look absolutely gorgeous. So I've got the old set on the front here. Um they're pretty close to the arch, so I'm gonna have to unroll the arches at some point soon. But the rears are fitting up lovely. So I'm thinking what I might do is adjust the camber very slightly on the rear, getting pointed in just to tuck a bit better in the arch. I might rise it a little bit until I can roll the arches properly and I'll do the same with the front. Um, I will be also ordering some nice Toyota Santa caps that will fit in here, so it's a bit of a, a bit more OEM plus as well. We get these fitted up, I'll do a nice little walk around with the car a little bit later on, and I think that might end the video up. It's just a bit of a basic one for now. Uh, but I've got a more exciting one coming up very soon.